one last one for me on the flames and then uh we'll, we'll pivot a little bit if and just for the sake of this let's let's just say they don't make it so in a week's time the regular season is over it's exit meetings brad Treliving does not have a contract heading into next season is that an awkward spot for him to be part of exit meetings do you i i guess just your read on Treliving moving forward with the team and the end of the season and everything that goes into wrapping a season up with a lame duck GM, if you will. His job doesn't change. I mean, until somebody tells him he, it's not his job anymore, his job is to make sure that he's doing everything in the best interest of the Calgary Flames. Exit meetings, sitting down with the players, getting the information, hearing what they have to say from the players. The coach, that's his job. As long as he's got the job, he better do the job. I'm real simple on that. I don't care if you're in the last year of your contract or, or you're not. That's your job. So as long as you've got the job, you better do your job. That's that's how I – if Brad feels that it's awkward, that's his own that's his own thing to deal with. But to me, I'm, I'm really clear on that. Like, you know, don't, don't be shirking your job because, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be back here next year. Hey, listen, make sure you get all the information. Make sure that you're doing things the right way and, you know, deliver it so that – the organization can understand it, whether you're here or you're not, what they got to do to be better. And you're only going to do that by going through the process.